Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to understand route summarization. See, we are going to understand why we need route summarization, where we need to implement route summarization and why we need to implement route summarization. Then we are going to understand how to perform route summarization and what is the benefit of it. Okay, so directly guys without wasting our time I am going to start the topic topic is rod summarization first try to understand why we need it. Okay, so let's say I have let me design one simple topology over here, right? I am designing very simple topology designing a topology with two rotor only. Let's say I have rotor one R1 here and one more rotor over here R2 R1 and R2 both are directly connected and let's say router one have some prefixes let's say router one have received from their neighbor from any other router or maybe the, these prefixes some prefixes are directly connected on router number one let's say let me let me connect three easy network with router number one let's say router one is connected with one network that is 192.168.1.0 right this network is directly connected with router number one what more network is connected with router number one let's say that is 192.168.2.0 slash 24 see both network are different and let's say one more network is there that is 192.168.3.0 slash 24 right and between router 1 and router 2, I am running any routing protocol to exchange routing information. Like we can use RIP routing protocol, we can use EIGRP, we can use OSPF or any other routing protocol. We can use even static routing as well. Let's say I am using any routing protocol, RIP version 2 or let's say EIGRP. EIGRP on router number 1 and router number 2 to exchange the routing information. Right to exchange the routing table, we can say directly. So now, after enabling EIGRP on router one and router number two, router one will share one update message, and in the, this update message, it will share these all network information. Right in this update message, it will share this network, this network, and this network. Three number of network right with router two, and router two will do what? Router two will, as you know, router maintain one routing table. In the routing table, router two will install these two prefixes 192.168.1.0 192.168.2.0 192.168.3.0 right all is reachable via router number one right so router one have three number of prefixes it have is you know advertise all prefixes with router two and router two have installed all these three prefixes in their routing table now guys just think that router one have 1000 prefixes router one have now 1000 prefixes or router is receiving 1000 prefixes from their neighbor maybe so this time router one will advertise 1000 prefixes to router number two router two will install all 1000 prefixes in their routing table if router one have lacks of prefixes so it will advertise lacks of prefixes with router two and router two will install lacks of prefixes in their routing table right so now routing table let's say router one is advertising 1000 prefixes to router number two router two have installed all 1000 prefixes in their routing table so routing table size of router two is very large now right and let's under let's consider that router 2 is not capable to install 1000 prefixes in their routing table right? whenever router router 2 is getting more than 1000 prefixes in their routing table let's say this router is hanging or cpu utilization of this router is going high whenever it is installing more than 1000 prefixes because see router need memory to build the routing table right so if there are more prefixes in the routing table router need more memory yes directly it is directly you know dependable on the cpu utilization okay so what i want that router 2 see it is clear that router 2 is not capable to install 1000 prefixes in the routing table so what i can do i can summarize these three prefixes or these 1000 prefixes when router one is advertising to router two so with the help of summarization what we can do we can reduce the size of routing table so this is the first use of summarization it is used to perform or we can say it is used to reduce the size of routing table of router 
right guys in eigrp there are lots of use of summarization with the help of summarization we can reduce the number of query messages uh, with the help of summarization we can perform path manipulation as well there are multiple use we can perform uh, you know yes path manipulation after that uh, we can stop the query in eigrp but the main or the main use of summarization or you can say the main reason why we are using summarization is to reduce the routing table size of router okay over here we are discussing the route summarization to reduce the routing table of router now question is it is clear that whenever i want to reduce the size of routing table of router i need to perform summarization like router 1 is advertising these all three individual prefixes to router 2 so it is installing three prefix in there three prefixes in their routing table so instead of these three prefixes i can advertise one summary address right from router 1 to router 2 so you need to find the summary address of these three network what will be the summary address of these three prefix so now we are going to understand how to calculate the summary address okay so let me write the network over here network is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 then 192.168.2.0 slash 24 after that 192.168.3.0 slash 24 so these are the three prefixes now guys i need to first of all i need to find the octet where value is changing we need to find or you can say the common bits directly we can say we need to find the common bits in these three prefixes how many bits are common right let let's see here this is the first octet this is the first octet of second prefix this is first first octet of third prefix first octet means as you know ipv4 address is, size is 32 bits and we divide the 32 bits address into four parts and each part carry eight 8 bits information so here 8 bits is common in all prefixes yes or no here last um, second 8 bit means second octet value is also common you can see in second octet value is 168 in all prefixes yes or no that means second octet value is also common but in third octet value is changing here value is 1 here value is 2 here value is 3 value is changing so just we need to find the octet where value is changing okay so till here we have identified that we have 16 bits common 8 bits in first octet and 8 bits in second octet i don't know how many bits are common in third octet so i will convert value of third octet into binary just to know how many bits are common actually we need to find how many bits are common that will become the network bits that will become the network bits so i will convert 1 2 and 3 in binary okay so binary of 1 will be as you know 0 0 0 0 0 1 this is the binary of 1 binary of 2 will be 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0 1 0 this is binary of 2 binary of 3 will be 0 0 0 0 0, 0, 0 1 1 this is the binary of 3 now you can see first bits in third octet is 0 in all prefixes that means this bit is also common here second bit in third octet is also zero in all prefixes right means this bit is also common this bit is also common third bit fourth bit is also common fifth fifth bit is also common and sixth bit is also common but seventh bit is not common in prefix in first network you can see here seventh bit is zero in second prefix you can see the seventh bit is one and here seventh bit is one that means in third octet six bits are common so total number of common bits will be what eight bit in first octet eight bit in second octet and six bit in third octet so total number of common bits will be 22 guys is it clear hope it is clear to everyone because here just i have find the common bits now how many bits are common in all prefixes so 22 bits are common as i calculate here right after that on this binary i need to perform and operation and operation so yeah when you will perform and operation all zero will become zero 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 and one one sorry zero one one will become zero one zero one will become zero in and operation you know this value will become zero so what will be the decimal value of these binary guys zero 
so your network id will become what 192.168 and in third octet value will be this one 0 dot 0 slash 22 which you have calculated the net network bits if you want to add the submit mask submit mask will be 255 dot 255 dot 252 dot 0 okay so this is the summary address now instead of advertising these three prefixes to router number two i will advertise only a summary that is summary of these three prefixes that is 192.168.0.0 slash 22 so router two will install how many prefixes in their routing table now only one prefix in their routing table so now you can see the size of routing table of router two is reduced earlier it was installing three prefixes now it is installing only one prefixes via router number one that is 192.168.0.0 slash 22 reachable via router number one that's it now in the same way let's say this time router router one have some more prefixes like uh, or router one is receiving let's say router one is receiving one prefixes from somewhere uh, some prefixes from their neighbor let's say router one is connected with any other router or router let's say 10 and router 10 is advertising some prefixes 10.1.100.0 uh, what i am saying it is advertising 10.1.100.0 slash 24 after that 10.1.10.1.101.0 slash 24 let's say 10.1.102.0 slash 24 let's say and 10.1.103.0 slash 24 let's say after that let me write some more network 10.1.104 dot 0 slash 24 and 10 dot 1 dot 1 0 5 dot 0 slash 24 let's say these five networks who is advertising 1 2 3 4 5 6 six prefixes router 10 is advertising these six prefixes to router number one now router number one we don't have any problem on router number one we have good memory over here good hardware good cpu utilization right and good configuration so router one can install lakhs of prefixes in their routing table or thousands of prefixes in their routing table but problem is on router number two router two cannot manage thousands of prefixes so router number two cannot install let's say these all prefixes so again on router number one we can perform what summarization we need to find the summary address of these prefixes either we can advertise you know 10.0.0.0 with slash 8 also this is also a summary address right but let's say router 2 is getting one more network that is 10.1.550.0 uh, uh, let's say 0 slash 24 from here from somewhere else so this is class full summarization so if you will summarize like this it will router 2 will not install it because router 2 have already one network right and here also it is summary address of this network is 10.0.0.0 or let's say this router is receiving one network like 10.0.0.0 slash 8 from somewhere okay so if you will advertise this network this summary address from here router 2 will not accept it so you need to find the exact summary address of these prefixes again so how you will find again you will find the unchanged octet so in first octet value is 10 in all prefixes so here we don't have change all bits are common in first octet eight bits are common here eight bits are common in second octet and in third octet you can see value is changing so we need to convert value in binary in third octet okay and the formula is very simple 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 4 5 6 7 this is the formula to calculate decimal into binary on binary into decimal so here value will be 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 and 128 so what will be the binary of 100 100 means 64 plus 32 means 96 plus 4 100 right rest value will be 0 over here 0 0 0 this is the binary of 100 let me write over here 0 double 1 0 0 one double zero this is binary of 100 2 4 6 8 fine binary of 100 1 binary of 101 will be 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 binary of 1 0 2 0 1 1 0 0 uh, 1 means 100 and 2 0 okay so this is binary of 100 
and 2 then binding of 103 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 this is binding of 103 binding of 104 will become 0 1 1 after that see 104 if you want to write 104 so 9 0 after 64 32 96 plus 0 plus 8 104 0 0 0 so this is binding of 104 so let me write it over here 0 1 and all 0 96 plus 8 that will be uh, 104 and then binding of 105 is 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 so these are the binary of this value 100 101 102 103 104 105 now you need to find the common bit so see, see here this is common this is also common this is also common one to three bits are common four is also common so four bits are common total four bits are common over here yes or no okay here value is changing in fifth bits okay so total common bits in third octet is one two three four four so total value to how many total network bits are there eight plus eight sixteen plus four 20 16 plus 4 20 so slash 20 that means slash 20 network bits how many network bits are there in summary address 20 network bits are there now we need to perform the end operation okay here we have calculated that slash value will be 20 and now we will perform end operation on this value so here value will be 0 then 1 1 0 after that 0 0 uh, 0 0 2 4 6 8 this will be the and if you will convert it into binary uh, again into decimal so this value is as you know 64 and 32 means 96 so your network id will become what guys network id of summary network id of this network will be 10.1.96.0 20 so you will advertise this network instead of advertising these all individual prefixes to router number 2 which network 10.1.96.0 slash 20 so again router 2 will install only one entry for these prefixes right one entry for 192 prefixes and one entry for these prefixes so in two you are advertising two summary root two router number two and in two summary root there are here you can see we have five prefixes and there and we have three prefixes in 192 means we are actually summarizing uh, 5 plus 3 8 prefixes into 2 prefix so we are advertising only 2 prefix to router number router 2 will install only 2 prefix instead of advertising 8 in your routing table so with the help of summarization guys we can reduce the size of routing table of router and uh, hope now it is clear to you you can also calculate the summary address of any prefix okay so just i am going to give you one task guys here task is 172.16. Uh, 16 dot 100 not 100 10.0 slash 24 after that 172 dot 16 dot 20 dot 0 slash 24 172 dot let's say 16 dot 30 dot 0 slash 24 just you need to find the summary address of these three network and let me know in the comment what will be the summary address of these three prefixes okay guys now if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe guys bye bye